Hello Charles and the rest of the I Love Myanmar team. We uh, are here with Dan my friend Danny, my son Grant, and uh, we want to make an uh, instructional video to teach you uh, uh, a few songs for the kids. Uh, when I was on the trip there back in December, I was just really blessed and touched by uh, the singing that the, the kids had learned and, and uh, how much music was a part of your culture. And, and Danny and I just wanted to take a little bit of an opportunity and teach you a few songs. These are, we call them uh, apostolic prayer songs. They come right out of the Word. So uh, Danny and I and Grant are uh, going to show you how to do that. Bless you. The reason why we use uh, apostolic prayer songs is to teach the kids the prayers that are in the Bible. Um, we tell the kids that when they can pray the Bible, they're praying 100% truth. And we really believe that. And so we turn these apostolic prayers, the prayers that the apostles prayed, we turn them into songs with motions so the kids can learn them and easily pray 100% truth when they pray. So here goes seven apostolic prayer songs for you. All right, first, we're going to do uh, 2 Thessalonians 3.1. We're going to say it, then we're going to sing it, then we're going to pray it. And we like to call the reference the address. So let's say the address. 2 Thessalonians 3.1. May the word of the Lord run swiftly and be glorified. So now we're going to sing it. May the word of the Lord run, run, run. May the word of the Lord run swiftly. May the word of the Lord run, run, run. May the word of the Lord run swiftly. May the word of the Lord run, run, run. May the word of the Lord run swiftly. May the word of the Lord run, run, run. May the word of the Lord run swiftly. And let it be glorified. Alright, the next one we're doing is 2 Thessalonians 3, 5. It goes like this. Now, may the Lord direct your heart into the love of God and into the patience of Christ. Come and direct my heart. my heart. 
and pray for daddies. Wreck my daddy's heart. Wreck my daddy's heart. Into the love of God. Wreck my daddy's heart. Wreck my daddy's heart. Into the love of God. And into the patience of Christ. Into the patience of Christ. Into the Daddy's heart and direct mommy's heart. Come direct our heart. And now we're going to pray it. And we're going to pray for mommies and daddies all across Myanmar, in the church especially. So, Father, we pray, 2 Thessalonians 3 5, that you would come and direct the family's hearts into your love and into your patience, Lord. Lord, I pray for the mothers and the fathers and the children, Lord God, that they would know your love, that they would be rooted and grounded in your love, and Lord, that they would have your patience. In Jesus' name, amen. In that prayer we just prayed, we pray for children, for mommies and daddies, but you could put anything in there. You could pray for government officials, you could pray for grandparents, grandmothers, caretakers, uh, but really the, the, the main gist of the prayer is that the Lord would direct our hearts into His love and into His patience. Alright, our next apostolic prayer is found in Colossians 1, 10, and 11. And it goes like this. That you may have a walk that is worthy of the Lord, being strengthened with all might. So here's how the song goes. I want to walk, walk, walk. I want to walk, walk, walk. I want to walk, walk, walk. Walk worthy of the Lord. I want to walk, walk, walk. That you would give the church in Myanmar a walk that is worthy of you. Lord, we ask that you would strengthen them with all might. That they could walk out their faith worthy of the calling that they've received in Jesus' name. Amen.